for people who saw the last tour, this is less in the way of, you know, bells and whistles and dancers and all that. It's more kind of straightforward performance. Yeah, it's, it's basically it's more live, you know. It's more about talking to the audience and just seeing what's going to happen every night. It's not completely scripted out and pre-planned. Is that nice? Is it kind of liberating to have that kind of... It definitely makes it more exciting and I think less monotonous every night. The live show isn't the only thing Panic is scaling back. They're making an attempt to downsize their carbon footprint as well, traveling in a biodiesel tour bus and donating a portion of ticket sales to environmentally friendly causes. One dollar from each ticket will go to, uh, to either of two eco funds, Reverb or Global Inheritance. And while the band is using this tour to preach a green gospel to their fans, they're admittedly getting an education in the process themselves. We're young guys. We didn't know a whole lot about what was going on before this, too. So it's been actually helping us personally, too. Things have changed for me. Still, the band stopped just short of bringing along a green mascot for the tour. We had the idea of like trying to get a tour plant, though, to take care of it in the whole spirit, but we have yet to do that. Yeah. Maybe a fern or something. Ficus. Without a ficus or a fern around to keep them company, Panic of the Disco instead brought along label mates, the Hush Sound, and Phantom Planet, as well as former tour mates, Motion City Soundtrack. We've been uh, enjoying ourselves. Um, this tour, the, the other bands that are on the tour, we've just made good friends with. It's kind of like being at home, just, you know, you're just hanging out with your friends all the time. It's kind of just like summer camp for us. 